What's up, everybody? Eshi here from Dead Draw Gaming, bringing you more tabletop testing in the Stellar Crown format. As always, I'm Eshi, and joining me is the one and only Jake Gearhart. Jake, we are playing Dragapult versus Charizard here, and these are both lists of your own creation. What's so special about them? Yeah, so uh, this Charizard list just has a, has a ton of random options in there. The Dragapult's a, a bit more normal, but does have the 1-1 Noctowl, which uh, not many people are playing. Uh, but I think it's really crucial for setting up like the big combo turns that uh, both of these decks play. This de right. Charizard deck also has the 1-1 Noctowl. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, this is a matchup that used to just be like free for Dragapult. Well, free-ish. It was definitely mm -hmm. favored for Dragapult. But things have changed in this next format. Things are a lot wackier. Both decks are playing the Briar card to accelerate the prize trade as needed. And I'm very interested to see uh, how the matchup has changed in this format. Yep. I do have the 1-1 Rabska in here, so that'll that be helps good for to sure. get there. But you can always Dusk nor the Rabska. So right. Heads tails. I'll go heads. I will go second. Got it. All right. I have a Mulligan here. Cool. We do have the Area Zero under depths and the Charizard list as well to sort of a replacement for Collapse Stadium. You can use that instead to right. fix your bench. Yeah, pretty pretty fun. I believe this this one doesn't have. No, yeah, this, there's yeah, no, no Area Zero, zero in that one. Dragapult. Okay. Yeah. Dragapult takes a lot more space <laughs> to right, fit right. everything. Right. Okay. Another Mulligan. All right. Yeah, your list is very, uh, very honestly kind of similar and reminiscent of Tord's list from Worlds. Just having as many options as possible for any situation that gets thrown at you, and just kind of having being well rounded in general uh, for for all stages of the game. Yeah, there's a lot of options for sure, and the the Thornton in here to replace the Rabska or Charmanders that get knocked out because there are only two yep. Charmanders in this list. Yeah, I think Rabska in general just seems even better in this next format too, for sure. Yeah. All right, I will take my two. You said you were going second, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll draw for turn. All right, I did not get a Poffin, but I can do basically everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and bench the Pidgey. I'll play the Nest Ball. Let's go see what we got here. Because this is a testing match, I'm going to go ahead and check my prizes on my first deck search. Uh, Duskull, a Dreepy, and a Dragapult. Not the end of the world. Uh, this deck list plays two Duskull, correct? Yeah, two okay, Duskull. So uh, can matter later potentially. There's also a heavy ball, I believe, so we could get that out potentially if we need to. But yeah, just testing. So we're gonna check prizes on the first excerpts to save time, so we don't just thumb through for minutes at a time <laughs> at the start of the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab. This is probably just a Rotom angle, honestly. I mean, how how much worse is benching Rotom in in Stellar Crown compared um, to before? I don't think it matters that much. I think it can definitely matter, but. I think getting like a setup, if you get turn two Dragapult because of it, that's definitely worth it. Yeah, like if if I don't get Ionald and I play this, there's like zero chance I whiff <laughs> turn two Dragapult. Or I could just get another Dreepy down, but so I have two Ultra Balls in hand. I could get the Rotom and then use an Ultra Ball to get another Dreepy. I guess I don't need to get a Dreepy. Yeah, down, you're not really yeah. pressured yeah, to get I'm going one, first, yeah. so uh, I'm just going to go to Vessel then. So I can get some energy attachments down. I think it's going to be the counter catcher then. Right, because there's no pal pad in this list, so yeah, I don't want to toss the boss. I think the boss is probably better. I'm going to grab a fire and a psychic. And then I'm just going to attach one and then pass. Uh, with the instant charge. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to instant <laughs> charge, sorry. Uh, okay, let's see. I think I'm just going to end up Ionoing here. Because I don't have like an energy. If I did, I would go with the Arvin for the um, TM Evolution. Because uh, I have both of those, but I do not. So I'll go ahead and I don't know. Okay. Yeah, hoping to hit a Buddy Poff in here. And ideally the TM Evolution to get the Rabska up. But that might not always be possible. Very unrealistic. Yeah, the area zero under dust, I'm just realizing that too, because I can actually utilize it in this matchup. You have to be like extra kind of thoughtful when you do play it, because you don't want to just give me an extra out to the mini on why I wouldn't normally have it. Yep. Yeah, it can definitely come up. Um, okay, this is not great. I don't have very many options. I guess I'm just going to Ultra Ball. Yeah, I'll get rid of a boss. 
I get a Charmander down, and then I'm going to have to Cleffa in a second. But I'll bench the Duskull, and then I'll Grasping Draw for five. Okay. Hoping not to get Dragapulted here. <laughs> that would be really bad. You are going to get Dragapulted here, fortunately. Okay. Unless he'll sound surprised, I guess. Actually, even then, I still should hit it. Oh, I don't have energy. Uh, mildly annoying. So I do have the Sparkling Crystal. That might actually be better to grab than the Seal Stone, because it might lead to the same outcome anyway. Looks like candy. Yeah. No, I have the energy. I have the energy. Never mind. Uh, oh, no, but that's Psychic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Drift the wrong energy. I guess for Iano situations, well, I guess with my specific hand, where I probably could have gotten any energy I wanted anyway, I probably should have just grabbed two Psychics, but very minor. Um, I'm going to grab this. Yeah, I guess I'm going to grab the Sparkling Crystal then. I mean, is it better? I guess this is better than using the Seal Stone. Yeah, you don't if want a Seal Stone. It, for they're both one of us, technically, yeah. but like this is one where it's um, its use is very specific for this kind of situation. So I'm going to Rare Candy to Pidgeot. Quick search. Or another rare candy. Oh, this is annoying. Uh, that's an ultra ball here. Yeah, like I can't, I can't get any more setup. But I think just prioritizing the dragon ball attack is probably better. And then, is there two rods in this list, or is it one rod, one night stretcher? I think. I don't love discarding all those. Then, I guess I don't need the psychic though. Yeah, right now I'd get least, rid of so. Just do that. Get my Dragon Ball by using the rare candy from that Ultra Ball. Sparkling Crystal. Phantom Dive. Is it always the Relar? I think you I always get rid well of the Pidgey. Yeah, stop your setup is probably more important. So yeah, yeah, let's get rid of the Pidgey. Even though I'm, it might stop, I might not be able to Phantom Dive and spread damage again. Yeah, I don't think while, it matters enough. Yeah. It's like two prizes? Right. I'll draw them. I did top deck a Charizard, which is, I guess, good, but this is not a good spot for me to be in because I don't have anything else to do this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I guess I prized a bunch of energies. That's not good. Um, I can't even attack, <laughs> and I prized double energies. That was my uh... first deck search, so <laughs> couldn't even know. Um, yeah, I'll bench a Charmander, um, boss Rotom, sure. and then pass. Please force you to play. I mean, do, do you want to just promote the Charmander then? Let's because well, oh, no, no, you wouldn't I, I know that. You wouldn't know that. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. Um, yeah. All right, drop for turn. I guess I maybe I played an Ultra Ball. No, you played an Ultra Ball then. It's fine. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Quick search. At this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and get more set up because I do have an energy in hand. So I Steel Stone. Yeah, I do have the Crispin, so even if I do miss an energy attachment, it's not a big deal. I'll pop in. I'm going to get Duskull. And Dreepy for now. Kind of attach retreat, phantom dive, and then I get one more on the Terminator. Yeah. Okay, I will evolve. Um, I'll counter catcher the Pidgeot yeah. and Iono. Uh oh, maybe I should have benched the Hoot Hoot then. Yeah, <laughs> I'll draw six. I'll play heavy ball. Yep, Let's see what. I've got Radiant Charizard and Luminion. I kind of want both of them. Um, I need the Luminion, though, for sure. For what? Because uh, I have nothing in my hand oh. right now. <laughs> yeah. Hand's completely dead. That's fair. 
Yep. Then I can, yeah, I can't really do anything else. Uh, I can't bench anything. Um, I think I, I could put the Luminion down now so I can Thornton next turn. Yeah, I think I have to do that because um, I need a basic that's in play for one turn. I could get another, like I could just puff and give you one prize. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's better. Yeah, I guess I will. Okay. Um, I can go like Ditto Pidgey, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think, actually, I want to get both. I get. No, I I don't need. To, I can just Good. get like one, like Fan Rotom Pidgey, actually. Um, but if I gust it. Yeah, I I, I think. I, well, I I just lose anyway. I think. I oh, because I got this. Yeah, yeah you yeah, got yeah. this, but you you wouldn't be able to Limited kill to this. But random, I yeah. I still don't think like I think I just lose if you have gust. Sure. Um. Yeah, I'll get the fan rotom. Okay. Uh, I can get hoot hoot as well. And then I will uh, burning darkness for the knockout. Yeah. Go into the Dragapult. Actually, I, yeah, yeah, no, you're you're good. I still don't lose if you do hit Gus because I can just knock out the Dragapult. So you, if you do like anything else plus Gus, then I'm in a bad spot. But hmm. it's possible for me to make a comeback because you don't have anything going on right now. Okay, well I do have Ultra Ball, but I do have to discard my Hoot Hoot. So, but I think Luminion Gus is probably still better here. Well, I think I think you need to set up another Dragapult. You I can't do. win without doing that uh so maybe it's just bench the hoot hoot then and rely on crispin next turn to give me the setup and just hold this hand yeah well, that that would stop the four seal stone you can't do that <laughs> sure i don't know I should, I should just hold it i need it for next turn i forgot all right uh Phantom Dive. I guess we'll just do 3 3. Okay. 200. Three. I guess 4 2 is. Uh, I mean, you're not playing Switch card, but. Yeah. Sure. Uh, no, because this, this, thing, this one uh, should be 4. Should be yeah. 4, because 100. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, my options here I can go get the Thornton. I can't knock out the Dragapult because there's no Defiance Band in this list, I don't think. Correct. I don't remember. There's yeah. A... Um, I can... Uh, yeah, I can knock out like the Rotom with Radiant Charizard and Iono you to one or something. Iono you again. I don't know if that actually matters. Um, I guess I can't, I can't Radiant Charizard because I have the Knocked Owl. Mm -hmm. I, on the bench that has to become a Pidgeot so yeah I can go Luminous Sign grab uh, where is it Thornton yep then I will Thornton into Pidgey um, actually, yeah, so I guess I go this one, right? Um, I don't have, wait, so if I put a grand tree in play, then you just dust nor and I lose, right? Let me think. Yeah, yeah, you can't give me grand tree. Um, unless you're killing it. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I can't get the Thornton. I have to get, um, yeah, I don't think I, mean, I... you could gamble because the dust collapse is in my discard, but. Oh, dust collapse is discard. Yeah. Okay, I can get worth rod, it. so. Yeah, no, it's it's worth gambling. Um, okay. It's like pretty unlikely that you, you have to hit the knocked owl. It's yeah. the only thing. So, um, yeah, that one becomes that. Then I'll play the grand tree, and use that. Get Pidgeotto Pidgeot, and then I can quick search. For 
I guess I get Knocked Owl and then I Super Odd. Yeah, I did because I prized an energy. It's not great right now. Um, I, I don't even know if I can actually do anything here. I can get the Pheasantipity and hope to draw. I guess I can, like, yeah, I think it's just grab Knocked Owl, Pheasantipity, hope to draw into Super Odd. And then that's about it. Uh, do I even have a nest? No, yeah, there's no nest ball on this list, so I have to Ultra Ball for it. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab Knocked Owl, mm -hmm. Jewel Seeker for Ultra Ball, Super Rod. And then I can Ultra Ball for the Pheasantipity. Mm hmm. Because I need to attack with this bench Charmeleon is my only option. And I kind of need a counter catcher as well. So very unlikely I have anything to do here, but play it out. Then I will flip the script. Do not draw anything that I need. So I can retreat into Knocked Owl, pass, and then... Yeah, I guess that's my best option. Yeah. And I can attach here for turn. Mm -hmm. Super Rod. Shuffle back. Three fire. Yes. And then I will go ahead and pass. All right. Draw for turn. Something I thought about during your turn was I should have put five here and then one there to let me get Dusclops knockout on that potential. Yeah, yeah. That can definitely matter. Work. Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and Dracloak Recon Directive. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll do that. And then Ultra Ball. I think that means you just have it, right? As long as it's not prized. Knocked out. Yeah. So I will Jewel Seeker. Uh, what's the best way to just do this? Just Super Rod the and then Grand Tree for the yeah. Death Yeah, that is the most fun way. So Super Rod. I'll just go ahead and play it. I'm just going to grab the one. Put Dusclops back in. Use Grand Tree. Evolve the Dusclops. Evolve the Dusnor. Curse Blast. Blam. All right. All right. I will go second. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. And hopefully not get turn one or turn two dragapulted. Well, it's you're not going to get dragapulted before you set up this time. Hopefully, no. Yeah. I guess, but well, it was the same as last game because you hit the you went first, but you still hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'll have more turn. You can potentially you can evolve before I can. Yeah, Wait, going, no, you're going second. I'm going second. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. Yeah. No. I thought you, I thought yeah. you said you're going first. Okay. No, I, I think going second. I'm just going to hit it again. Right. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. yeah. Maybe I'll hit the turn one Evo though instead, and then. Possible you go to Rabska and it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that helps a lot if you can hit that for sure. Okay, starting Cleffa again. Starting Dreepy. All right, good luck. Good luck. Draw for turn. Once again, this is a very good hand. Yeah, <laughs> well, uh,. Buddy, buddy, poppin' first. G. I guess I get who to here. Uh, let me check prizes again. Excuse me. You could also get Duskull. I think Duskull might be. Duskull might be better. Better. But if you eye on me, I might get a coat. Especially because I prize two rare candies. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe second Dreepy, probably. Better than Noctowl? Yeah, because well, you can't you can't use the knocked owl until you oh, get right. a drag ball. Until you get a drag yeah. ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, dreepy might be better than. I'll just go grab the dreepy. I will nest ball. Oh, but I do have dust clops already in hand. That'd be fun. Cause I can just delete your clef out instantly. Actually, yeah, maybe let's do that then. Let's get the dust call instead. Let's just see what'll happen. Now I'll grab Rotom. 
And then I'm going to attach and then instant charge. Attach. It's a charge. Okay. I will draw. I'll buddy buddy poffin. Check the prizes. Prize my Dusknor, uh, which is really bad. Yeah, all these stage two decks, the, the prize cards are just so big of an issue right now. Mm -hmm. It's hard to justify not playing Raging Bolt, which is sad. <laughs> um, I can get these two. And then my ditto is in the deck. So I can go. Yeah, I think I'll wait on the fan call to see what I draw. Right, then I will Iono. Sounds good. Three, four, five, six. Okay, I drew double buddy buddy poffin. So I guess his Rotom's not are not doing very much. <laughs> not really. Um yeah, play that. Um, actually, I kind of want to play this Ultra Ball, I think. Okay, yeah, I'll Fan Rotom, um, Fan Call, just to get stuff to Ultra Ball away. Ditto. And I think that's all. Then I will, let me double check. I'll grab Hoot Hoot as well. Yep. I think I'm going to, yeah, discard both of those with the Ultra Ball. Um, I guess this, this isn't actually changing anything because I'm going to draw four for four. So maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's fine. I'll do it anyway. Uh, I'll Ultra Ball for uh, Charizard. Because I could get the Grand Tree Pidgeot play. Sure, sure. Um, yeah. Maybe it's better to not get anything then. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll fail the search on that, and then I'll just grasping draw for four. Okay. And it is your turn. Draw for turn. That is a very clutch draw. I'm going to start off with Hisuian Heavy Ball. Wow, I'm so surprised there are no basics in there. Mm -hmm. Actually, did I just want to discard that then? No, it's fine. Okay. Going to Earthen Vessel. Get rid of the League Headquarters. This is my only stadium out though, right? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really care about bumping my stadium. Yeah, it's fine. Grab two Psychics. Going to go back in. Play Arvin. Grab candy. And seal stone. Going to rare candy to Pidgeot. I'll quick search and use the seal stone for rare candy dragapult. Again, that is, that is all my rare candies because the other two are prized. So hopefully I pull some pretty soon here. I think we're going to see just a repeat of last game where I'm just going to zap the Cleffa and the, the Pidgey here. Yep. Because unfortunately, I did not get my Dusclops back or any way to get it back. But that is fine. Attach return. Yep. And then I will just Phantom Dive the, the Pidgey. Okay. Let's see if I can get a top deck. That top deck's pretty good. Um... Okay, I can evolve to Rabska and evolve to Charmeleon. That's scary. You got it online. Yes, I do. Okay, I can also go... Wait, do I have the... 
if I go and get Thornton, Pidgeot, or a Candy. Uh, yeah, this is... No, but I can't play the Arvin. Yeah, so that doesn't get me Pidgeot, sadly. Um... Yeah, I have to do this either way. Luminous Sign. Um, I don't know. I don't need anything really, but I guess I can take the Thornton. I could. I'll take Iono. Um, I need the Fort Seal Stone, and I'll use the Fort Seal Stone. Mm -hmm. Grab Charizard X. And then I will Rare Candy into Charizard EX, Infernal Rain. Two, three. And then I will Arvin. Okay. For, I think I have to get Counter Catcher here. Yeah. And then I will Counter Catcher the Rotom. Actually, wait, I shouldn't have Arvin. I should just, um, I should Luminion for boss. That's what I what sure, I should sure. do instead of the Iono, and then I can just play the boss there. That yeah. works. Boss. Um, yeah, I think Arvin is fine to play next turn. Um, and then I will Burning Darkness. All right. I'll promote Pidgeot. Draw for turn. These cards are not great. The counter catcher is not going to be active anytime soon. I top deck Crispin, but uh, no need for that. We're going to start with a quick search. The most important thing I think right now. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't get like rare candy dust Sonora this turn, unfortunately. Um, you don't play Defiance Band, so I guess. Uh, yeah, for if Raps goes in there, I think it's just you just gust the mini on and then go, or even. Yeah, yeah, you just got, probably just gust the minion and knock it out. But without it, it's kind of weird. Or with the Rapsco there, it's kind of weird. I'm going to grab Fez to try to just draw into some other stuff here. But it's probably safest just to buddy Poff in here and get Hoot Hoot and Dreepy down. There's no tool I could grab that would really matter with Arvin. I'd probably just use the Crispin this turn instead then. Right, like I never do. I, I never boss like Rabska here, right? Uh, or even I mean, you could. Is it like worth it though? Over like setting up more. Uh, I don't you think don't you have a dust down, but you can, can Thornton, boss which this, is like scary. But then I can counter catch your your Pidgeot, which is just yeah, 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 yeah. Which is why maybe just doing two hundred flats better. Yeah, let's try this route and see how it works out. Oh, I'm gonna play the Crispin. So I'll play Crispin, search my deck for two basic energy cards, reveal them, put them in my hand. Uh, they have to be different types. I'll reveal them, one of them goes in my hand, the other one goes onto uh, the Pokemon. So I'll put the Psychic in my hand. But yeah, I like this setup right now, because my Pidgeot and the Noctowl are like fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, uh, you're not going to be able to kill my Pidgeot outside of doing Thorn stuff. I'm sending up good damage on the Charizard. So I feel pretty okay with this. I'll go ahead and do that attach. Then yeah, I'll just Phantom Dive for 200. All right. And no damage counters because of Rapska. Yeah. Putting in the work. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, maybe I should have got, got an Iono last turn, but that's fine. I'll play the Arvin. Why, just because you like your hand? Or... Yeah, my hand is not good enough right right now. Yeah, I can like get counter catcher and take one prize. I can't even play it, no. Um, yeah, I can like get a Duskull or a Pidgey maybe.
Mm-hmm. What do I do? I need Radiant Charizard next turn, though, so... Yeah, I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do here. I think I... Yeah, there was a big mistake to not grab the Iono. Because I'm not going to have enough cards to win. Hmm. Um, yeah, I can take the Ultra Ball and then potentially use Pheasantipity next turn and TM Evo. Okay. Then I will uh, Bench Radiant Charizard and attach to it. And then I will just Burning Darkness for 240. 240, you got it. My hand is unfortunately still very bad, so I can't do anything super flashy this turn. Go ahead and draw. You can't get the like quick search for Noctowl and then get the second Dragapult. Yeah, that's like or... the main thing. I, I, it's just uh, I, I can't win this turn. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, there, there would be no way to win. Yeah. Uh... Even if you take this out because the Rabska's here. Like, yeah, I, but I would, yeah, I, I would Dustnar that, Gus KO that. Yeah, but if what it, like you. Yeah, you'd have to have boss and Dustnor, like candy Dustnor yeah. boss. Which, which I actually cannot do because yeah. candy's a prize, but you don't know that. But. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, either way, I can't do that. So we're mm -hmm. going to go ahead and go with the quick search. I think, um, yeah, it's just going to have to be a Dracloak then here. So there's no red candies anyway. Uh, you, you could argue it's worth gusting this turn, actually. I don't think so, ever. Because then I just need Dustnor KO next turn. I could, like, get rid of it. Some, you don't know I don't play like, I, I Turo or something. I don't know you don't yeah. play Turo. <laughs> um, also, don't, I win if you do that, maybe. Because then you give me a prize, and then I can uh, Briar KO your Pidgeot, right? Yeah. If, well, no, I wouldn't do that until next turn. And I would just win the game off oh, of You it. mean like, yeah, but you, you got... Gust oh, yeah, this, okay. This yeah, gust yeah, this, yeah. this turn. But yeah, then you're it, still at two. Okay, right. yeah, that'd be fine. And then i just gust again if... Mm -hmm. uh, and that's... If you briared or something, i could just gust again. Is that better? Then just setting up a Dracloak here? No, I'll, I'll just set up the Dracloak. Let's just do that. Let's see how this plays out, too. Um, yeah, none of these I really want to play. Maybe the Dust Clops was better, though. I don't know. Let's see Recon Directive. Very tricky. Very tricky. I'm going to take this card. All right. And then I'm just going to Phantom Dive Knockout. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I... I can't even Radiant Charizard here. That was another mistake, because I have to KO Pidgeot this turn. Um, yeah, not playing too well this game. <laughs> All right. The Galvantula earlier fried your brain? Yeah. Uh, or I playing can... against Raging Bolt <laughs> fried your brain. <laughs> yeah. Raging Bolt annoyed me too much. <laughs> I will get Pheasantipity, I think. Yeah, and I have to draw for this. Um, I need, like, Iono Countercatcher. <laughs> Um, yeah, and Ra and Charizard EX. Mm -hmm. This is pretty bad. Because I have no way to remove the Luminion this turn. Right, yeah. Draw three. Yeah, that was my main concern, is if you remove the Luminion, then I'm just kind of cooked yeah. at that point. Yeah, that is nothing. So, um... Hmm... Yeah, I can't do anything. I think, yeah, yeah, you got it. That's just it? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quick search for yeah, boss. I got, I got the two candy yeah. surprises. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been fine regardless. So, yeah, just quick search for boss and then. Yep. That is it. But, uh, yeah, this is a matchup that seems. Uh, this, this is. Dragon Ball in general surged in Japan. Uh, I think it was like over a month ago at this point, maybe like a month and a half ago, when whenever a Stellar Miracle hit for them. 
because Zard was like clearly BDIF material, and then Dragapult was just like, I can do the same thing, and I beat you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think Dragapult still holds that position. It's like maybe a little bit of a triangle format, but if if Dragapult can beat like Raging Bolt consistently, then Dragapult seems like it's the the best deck in the format for sure. Yeah, because uh, the Reggie Drago matchup was already like close-ish um, before, but mostly due to Dragapult's like very inconsistent in the current like previous uh, whatever this set is format, Shrouded Fable, Shrouded Fable <laughs> um, format. So then, yeah, the consistency boost with the Terra Crystal and Noctowl and everything uh, should make that matchup yeah a lot closer. Uh, and Noctowl like having a being able to draw or like search for what you need without relying on something with a 60 HP basic is like pretty huge against yeah. Reggie Drago. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely a matchup I'll uh, need to test more. Again, we already did test on the channel of Dragapult versus Raging Bolt, so if you want to check that out, definitely do so. But yeah, all these decks seem very well positioned into this format. I'm very excited to see how the meta evolves from here. Jake, where can people find you? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Jake K. Gearhart, as always. All right, you can find me on Twitter at EchiOK. You can also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Echi, and watch me play the Pokemon trading card game live on Twitch. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Take care.